one. Nice big win for the women's soccer team, 5-1 to one against UMass Lowell. They improved the 2-0 in conference play. Star of the game, Sydney Spermulo. We'll get to John Natal here in just a second. And this is your second career multi-goal game. You had one against FDU, but here a big one. You start off with a penalty kick. You add two more, and it seems like you kind of stepped up into that leader role, and you and Chanel Johnson now currently tied for 10 goals each. Yeah, it feels really great. Um... I'm really like happy with myself, and I think me and Chanel work really well together. Your coach just asked you what made you decide uh, to take the penalty kick, and you looked him right in the eyes and said, because I wanted to, and then if you're glad you made it. Yeah, I'm really happy I made it. I, I knew going in I was going to make it. I had to, taking that risk. Well, today you get eight points, you score three goals, and you actually tie former standout Amelia Pereira for the first time. A player has eight points since 2010. How do you feel about that? Wow, I didn't realize that, but that's really exciting. Damn, I did not know that. Congratulations on the victory. We'll bring your coach in now, uh, the star player in Sydney's Primulo. And, and it seems like each time that we're here on the broadcast, her name always gets mentioned, and you always have great things to say about it. But five goals today, and it seems like, that Spermulo johnson connection just continue to propel you guys into another victory? Yeah, um, those two, they're, like I said in the past, they're hard to deal with. Um, they're going to get chances, and today they, they were clinical with them. You get, it was a stretch of seven goals combined between the two of them, and then all of a sudden Elise Gallopo comes in off a substitution, and she finds Sydney Spermulo. That was the first time that broke up that stretch. So you're starting to get that. I guess, other part into it instead of the goal scoring, now the assist. So Gallopo steps up and does that. Is it Gallopo, Primovic, or is it Ingram that might step up into that role? You know, it's everything leading up to that was great. I mean, the, the great thing with um, Sitters and, and Chanel is they're, they're the end product to a lot of, a lot of things that we do. Uh, and we want it that way, and that's great. Um, they're very good finishing, and they're very good at creating things on their own. So that's why they're combining well right now. They can beat you on the dribble. You know, they can finish a chance in the box. You know, they're both strong and, and explosive, dynamic. They just create so many problems for defenders. I think that's why the both of them are just playing well right now. Now, you can uh, correct me if I'm wrong, but um, I think this is your first – big complete 90 minutes that you guys played besides that mishap on the goal managing of the clock and managing of the ball and out of the gate you know I thought that your message in the locker room without even hearing it was pretend that it's a 0-0 game and the entire time the team just kept staying on the attack is that fair to say yeah I mean to be honest we were up three nothing at halftime but I, I didn't feel like we were in control of the game you know, I thought the game was too stretched. I thought um, it was back and forth at times, and we didn't do a good job managing the ball. What we did do well was we created chances because we were athletic, we were faster, um, and, and we finished those chances. But I did think in the first half the game was back and forth. The message in the locker room was we need to manage the ball, we need to manage the game. And I think for the most part we did that, and we scored two extra goals. You guys are now 2-0 and in conference play. You'll have a week before your next game, so what do you work on in the meantime? Uh, mo most importantly, it's about rest and recovery. I mean, we're playing the way we want to play. Um, I think players are fit. They're healthy for the most part. It's just rest, recovery, and, and we just try to keep moving forward. The girls will be back in action, as I said, in a week. It'll be a week from today. It'll be a special time at noon, so market calendars will be on the airwaves at 11.50 a.m. with this guy on the pregame show on Hartford All Access. Stay tuned to HartfordHawks.com for the latest of the women's soccer team.